brand new adventure Step up, step out and enter <laughs>
<laughs> what? <laughs> so now, to get these vows started, we are going to have a, a little thing called hand fasting. So I'm going to begin that by asking Jared and Carly, and this is to borrow a few words from a Mr. William Shakespeare. Please now join your hands together and with your hands, your hearts. So now, with your hearts joined, I am going to tie your hands together and this with this little ribbon. And what I'm going to do then is read the words on hand fasting. And this hand fasting tradition, it, uh, it's an ancient Celtic tradition from which comes the expression, tying the knot. So now, these are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. The hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. The hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and as in today, a few tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. The hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength whenever you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Now I will remove that ribbon, but you can keep your hands joined. Because we have now come to the legal declarations and I am first required by law to ask Gerard and Carly if they know of any impediment to their marriage. Gerard, do you know of any impediment to I'm, your marriage to Carly? I know of no impediment to my marriage to Carly. And Carly, do you know of any impediment to your marriage to Gerard? I know of no impediment to my marriage to Gerard. That's all excellent news. And now, do you, Thomas, Gerard Fitzgerald, take Carly Louise Dalrymple to be your wife, to share a relationship of love and tenderness and laughter, to confide in and trust above all others, to respect and stand by her in everything as an equal partner, but above all else, to love and cherish her. I do. And do you, Carly Louise Dalrymple, Take Thomas Gerard Fitzgerald to be your husband. To share a relationship of love and tenderness and laughter. To confide in and trust above all others. To respect and stand by him in everything as an equal partner, but above all else, to love and cherish him. I do. The perfect circle of the ring, of course, symbolises eternity. The precious metal they are made from came from the ground as a rough ore and was heated and purified and shaped and polished and something very beautiful was made from raw elements. And love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings made by imperfect beings. It is the process of making something beautiful where once there was nothing at all. Gerard, please now place the ring on Carly's finger and repeat after me. I, Gerard. I, Gerard. Take you, Carly, to be my wife. Take you, Carly, to be my wife. And with this ring, I marry you. And with this ring, I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. Thank you. Let me get there. <laughs> and now, Carly, please place the ring on Jared's finger and repeat after me. I, Carly. I, Carly. Take you, Jared, to be my husband. Take you, Jared, to be my husband. And with this ring, I marry you. And with this ring, I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. May these rings stand for you both as symbols of your love for each other, looking inwards and outwards, an embrace that binds without imprisoning, a support that reassures without restricting. The wedding bands that Carly and Jared have exchanged are a confirmation of the vows that they have made. Now, you'll recall a little earlier in our ceremony, your mothers lit the two candles behind me to represent you as individuals and your two families. I'd like to invite you now to go, if you would, behind the table 
Take the flame lit by your mothers and together light that center unity candle as a symbol of the coming together of your two lives and two families. <laughs> So, Jared and Carly, you have just freely consented to join your lives. You have pledged yourselves to each other by the exchanging of rings and the exchanging of vows. And in the presence of everyone gathered here with you today, I am absolutely delighted to pronounce you husband and wife. Time now for that kiss. May your home be a place of happiness for yourselves and for all family and friends who enter into it. May your love for each other continue to grow. May it deepen and increase so that you are forever, as you are, right this moment, so happily in love and so glad to be married to one another. I'm going to finish with a traditional Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon the fields. May the light of friendship guide your paths together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. And may the joy of living for one another trip a smile from your lips and a twinkle from your eye. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege and very great pleasure to present to you the happy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Fitzgerald.
promise to hold your heart tenderly and to protect it fiercely. I promise to always laugh with you and to also take the time to talk about the important things. I promise to share your dreams and help you achieve your goals. I will never stand behind you or in front of you. I will always stand beside you. I promise to be supportive, loyal and to be honest with you. To cherish value and protect the families that we have, the family that we are becoming today and the family that we have yet to come. Everything in life takes work and I promise you that I will never stop working on us. I choose you for all of my yesterdays, especially my today, the days to come and forevermore. You're my only. I love you. You are my rock, my absolute everything. I promise to make your dreams mine, to support you, to cherish you and to devote my life to your happiness. You are the person I want to be with for the rest of my life. I'll be faithful, loving, and always there to comfort you. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's highs and lows from this day forward and all the days of my life. Don't take a photograph of love. 